so we keep our fan stored right here in front and we don't use the oven so inside the oven we got pot storage pot lid storage down here are the pans right underneath okay over here we have a brand new toaster oven and this is what we use because it's huge we can cook everything in this all these are full of food and Aaron's clothes and then we put up in here there's our step stool we have this beautiful Spanish chest that we use for napkins and linens and stuff like that and I put up this room divider so this is like a little utility closet right here so we keep the vacuum and the little washer was supposed to go right there a little portable washer and just some stuff so that's kind of hidden from the rest of the room you see this becomes part of the living and dining space and then we've got storage in the cedar chest we got a nice little topper for that to make it an ottoman we've got an rv um, sofa took us forever to figure out what we're going to do with that the beautiful view we have oh yeah baby and then I've got my desk set up here and a little fan because the other fan just blows everything to tarnation when it's hot lots of storage for production equipment and then here's Aaron's actual area He's got some clothes in there, some goodies up there, and check this out. La 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 la. Okay. What is it? That's a big screen so that we can have TV from there, projector TV over here yay and then we eat off of tv trays yes all american so the bathroom we put in a little shower thing caddy that's been really cool there's a place for aaron to hang his lovely um, house robe then in the bathroom we can't get those photos off they're permanently affixed and we just didn't want to bother with it yet this is where the toilet paper goes oh, oh toilet paper bags all that stuff there's a fan up here and lights this is a light that goes on automatically at night if it's nighttime it's awesome it senses so it doesn't have to be super bright in here and that's a nice smelly thing we got at the vegan fair there's the toilet and then this closes and then this right here check this out so that closes okay and so does this completely closed in it's cool because now you have like a little bathroom area that's very private and here this is great we have so much storage space here look oh my god there's me this is so cool check it out in the bathroom. We open this thing up. Ta-da! Look at that. There's the makeup drawer and there's the little ottoman that I sit on and I installed this, a 10x makeup mirror that's got lights. La, la, la. 
How lovely is that? That's so cool. That's one of the features we really liked about this place. It's a pretty unique um, RV, I think. Yeah. Slide that back in there. And then we, I decided to hang up the um, necklaces, just hang them on the back of this mirror. I thought that was a good idea. Yeah, hanging necklaces. It's a good way to store them. And then if you go over here, oh, here, we just stuck our little hamper right here. That's my area. Well, that's the linen closet. Those are my clothes. There's our unacknowledged poster, Dr. Greer. This is all Aaron's area. And once again, hanging the necklaces. And so inside of this wardrobe, I put up these hangers, which just helps me organize a lot more of my clothes. I got a lot more clothes in here. And then this was pulling out from the ceiling. This what holds. So what we do is we put a piece of wood. You know, normally it's just a hanger. But our friend Steve helped us do a piece of wood that goes all the way down to the ground now. And this is not going anywhere. Yeah. Super, super solid. Because this is heavy stuff. And then there's outside. And the squirrels ate the backs of our, um, our pads that go on the chairs. So now they have to be put away. What's left of them. And there's the awning that's outside. Which is always gives us lots and lots of shade. And the goats like to sleep right down there. We had a garden. Garden's gone. Tried to have a garden. My purses are up here. This is my side. So I keep an extra blanket in case we get cold because it's cold in the desert. And I got all my purses stuffed in here. Got rid of everything that wasn't purse that I wasn't using. And my hats are up here. And then the rest is errands. Because Aaron has a lot of stuff. I have to walk sideways to get through here. So this is kind of it. We've got the laundry there ready to go. And keep Aaron's thing hanging there. I installed, I put this up. I thought that was kind of pretty. Because there was no place to hang the, um, the little hand towels. So I put that up. And this is where towels hang. There's room for three. Here's another thing that we did. So, you know, here's the front door. And when we come in, we're trying to keep it clean, trying to keep the foxtails out, but we wear little um, shoes that we work on outside. So we try to keep this clean. And when we come in right here, like here's the refrigerator, there's a cabinet down here. And so what we did was we put all of our dirty, nasty shoes, gardening shoes, and there's the brushes for the goats that we bought, and our gardening gloves and stuff. That all goes in here, so it can always stay nice and dirty, but we can keep the house nice and clean. So that was one thing that we decided to do. And then over here under the next in the pantry, we got some more storage of like, there's our emergency supplies and candles, another fire extinguisher. This is the water container I used to fill up the bird baths and give the goats some water. We've got goat treats and some sunflower seeds for the squirrels and a squirt bottle for when the goats get out of control and some chemicals for the black water tank. They're all natural, don't worry. And the floor cleaners. Up here in the pantry, well, we got, I store my potatoes back here. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Some extra plant milk, plant-based milk. Got all of our bags and stuff here. We've got, uh, hey, there's a bottle of wine in there. Awesome, better break into that. We've got our um, olive oils, all of our cooking oils. And I store all the different nuts and seeds in here for us and we do feed the squirrels sometimes. We got our snacks and chips. Right now we got taco shells because we're eating tacos. Then I've got bags of rice and pasta here. 
up here is very, very hot. It gets super hot. And I don't know why. I mean, this wall is next to the refrigerator. So we just have like our recipes. This is bear spray. we got to keep that handy out here. So all the dogs and the coyotes and stuff. Keep an extra flashlight. That actually goes here. Extra flashlight. Here's our, here's our cookbooks. The kitchen. Um, and cookies, that's about it. What else do you need? And our Instapot, which we use to make rice and everything. And here's our solar controller. And we couldn't see it, so I installed this little push light. I have to really step up. Oh yeah, that really lights it up so you can kind of get a, see what the power level is. We've been having a lot of problems with power levels. And that's the pantry. Okay, going outside. These are from Steve. This was supposed to be where we put our citrus plants and the squirrels could not get them. Yeah, the squirrels got them. No problem. And there's a trough that was supposed to be our lettuce garden. That didn't happen.
So this is it. And here's our driveway. And that's where we come in over there. It's very bumpy. Okay, this is where we live.